Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have shown the post list. We got the data from the state management and we are showing that post list of all the posts in a tabular form. Now in this video, what we will try to do is we will try to add new child root for this one. That is nothing but the add post. We will try to add the adding a post. So if you try to click on adding a post, the post should be submitted automatically into this table so that oh, that should be happened only through the state management so let's try to add the root and also try to design the form in this video now if you go here so where is the main thing is happening having is in the app module not app module let's add try to add the root. here what i am trying to use is i am trying to use the children so in this children i am adding path of type add and i will load the component add post components let's try to create the component add post let's open the terminal and in this terminal i am trying to create ng gc add post okay uh, and where it should be in the post sorry in the post post right in the post slash add post so let it create and it will take some time to create the project in the component so the component has been created and here you, you will be able to see that add post and what i will try to do is i will try to load this component component and here add add post component okay added the child root here now added the child root let's go to the post list so in this post list component in the html so at the top what i will try to do is i will do one div and here i will keep one href okay so in this href add post and in this add post i will give a class of btn btn hyphen primary okay so i will try to add the and let's try to add the router link here so the router sorry router link is equal to so the router link will be in such a way that post slash add okay so we have added the router link and let's try to see the output here so if i try to see the output here i am able to see the add post but i am not able to see the add post component here what is happening here why first this one is coming center let's try to see so here if we go to the app.html yeah okay we have added the text center let's remove the text center and let's try to refresh so if i refresh this one yeah we are able to see this one now if i go to the counter counter is coming at the left side okay fine let's leave it and in the post so if i click on the post i am not able to see why because so we have added the child root right we have added the and here let's go to the post module so where could be the post list.html right so we have uh, yeah here what we can do is we will make it as a 8 and here call mod hyphen md hyphen 4 so here i will keep router outlet for this router outlet to load the child so this is the router outlet let's try to see the output here if i try to see the output now i am able to see the add post here and if i click on the counter i am able to see the counter post i am able to see the post but there is no routing add add or add post here why because it is in the post list now if i click on the add post so here i am able to see the add post now let's try to design the form here if i go into the add post let's go into the add post.html and i will try to remove all this one so here it will be having one div or otherwise you can keep a row okay sorry row you can keep and here what i will try to do is dot call hyphen md hyphen 12 so in this one what i will try to do i will try to design a form okay what is happening yeah so form in this form i will write div class is equal to mb hyphen 3 okay so in this mb hyphen 3 i will try to write the label and here i can write the tape title and here what i can do mm, sorry it's not label right it will be an input input type is equal to text and class will be of form control right so form control for the design this form control is the design thing don't think uh, form control is something like form control name and all those things so now here description so i am doing reactive forms here and this input box let's remove this input box and add the text area 
and here what i can do i will add the class is equal to form control here the same thing so these are the two things and here i will add one div and here i will add one button okay this is of type submit so this button is of type submit and the class i will keep it as btn btn hyphen primary so here in this one add post i will write at the add post this is the basic form and let's try to add here also m by hyphen 3 or something like this okay we have added this one so let's try to see the form how the form will look like so this is the form and here i'm able to see the title and description let's try to add the heading also and here i will add add sorry add post and here i will try to add hr okay so for to draw some line to one line be, below the heading yeah this looks somewhat better if you want you can also add something like my hyphen 4 so to give some gap bit between the top and bottom so now if i try to see yeah it's look it look it's looking nice so this is the add post now when we click on this add post we are able to see here now let's try to write the reactive form module now here reactive form module for inserting the reactive form module what we need to do we need to add here in the app module in the imports so reactive we need to import reactive forms module so we have imported the reactive forms module and let's go to the app component.ts and here i will create one variable post form of type form group okay so form group you can write and in this ng on init what i will try to do is here this dot post form is equal to new form group new form group of we are having two types of things first one is the title and this one i can write new form control of the value default value will be null so i validator validations i am applying validators dot required and another one what i will try to apply is so another one what we can try to add is here validators sorry validators we'll try to add another one validators dot min length we'll try to add the min length here min length of six so that we can show the two types of errors in the output now next one what we will be trying to do is so another one is the description right so now description description is equal to new form control this is also one type of form control and this one also take null okay so this one also takes null and here i will try to apply same thing validators what is happening validators dot required and another one will be the validators dot min length min length sorry min will be of number right number number it will be min length will be the length of the string so now these are the two two things what i have applied so this is the form i have created now let's go to the uh, add post component.html and here in this component.html what i will try to do is here in the form form i will apply the form group i think this is the name form group is equal to post form we need to give the name of the post here the name what we have created the name we need to copy this one and we need to keep it in the add post here now for each form control we need to give the form control name is equal to so for this one we need to apply the title and here what we can say yeah form control name is equal to description okay so we we have applied for all these things and here on submit ng submit we don't have okay so ng submit is equal to on add post right so now on add post we'll try to implement it in the add component so here what i can write on add post so now here in this one console.log okay this dot post form let's try, try to post it console it literally the complete form so now if i try to see here if i inspect the element and if i go to the console and here i have written something i have written something 
and I am clicking on the post. So here I am able to get the form group. So in this form group, we will be having the value. Where could be that value? Yeah, here the value also we are able to get. So that means we have successfully integrated the reactive form to this one. So now what we will try to do? We will try to show the errors. We will try to let's try to show the errors also so that the form will be completely perfect. It will be. So here what I will try to do? I will try to apply one div. Okay. So uh, ng if I will apply ng ng if is equal to so first the post form sorry the post form dot get dot get of title so we are writing for the title right errors dot title dot touch if it is touched and also and and not of post form dot get of title so here also the title dot valid if it is not valid and also it is touched so then we will be showing the errors okay so first one will be the div and here what i will try to do is ng if okay so post form dot get of title dot errors dot required okay so if it is required i can directly tell that title is so specifically writing the errors for the each validation so title is required if div star star ng if is equal to post form dot get of description okay this so sorry title right title dot errors dot min length so if you have min length error also so we can write title should be minimum six characters right this is the error we have written right minimum so now we have written the two errors so now let's try to go and see the problem so if i click here and if i come outside so title is required it is showing and if i write here so title should be minimum six characters also it is showing if i write many it, it went away so in the same scenario what we will try to do is we will try to write for the description also so now here if you try to see here so the the errors errors thing so uh, particularly for each errors we have when we are writing the validation errors so we are able to see a lot of ngf conditions and html we are able to see through a lot of logic we are writing in the html right so if you have four five validations means then we cannot write ngf 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 like this so that it will be very much confused so here if you see here for the title we have written so many of if conditions right now if you have four or five validations or six validations means then writing these these all if conditions it will be a tds so it will be confusing also so for that one we can do another another type of uh, logic also we can write for example for the description we will try to do like that only so here what i will try to do is do i will try to show show description okay show description errors okay so here i will write one method okay now here what i will try to do is so this show description errors this method i will go to the add post and here i will write show description errors whatever the name you want you can write and here i will write the logic whatever the logic we want you can write it here this dot post form dot dot or otherwise what we will try to do is constant description description form is equal to this dot post form this dot post form dot get of description okay so this is the whole thing so we got the element of that one and now instead of using these all things description dot if description dot touched if it is touched ampersand ampersand and description form dot valid if it is not valid so if it is not valid then we need to write the condition now in this one i will write if description form okay dot errors okay so this is the right dot errors dot required if it is required then i will return directly the value description description is required okay and another one what is error what is the validation we have written description form 
sorry description form dot errors dot min length right min length if it is min length if it is having min length then written description should be of so 10 characters we have written we have written so should be of minimum 10 characters length okay so whatever the name whatever the description whatever the error you want you can do it so now with the, you need to use this uh, method and we can call it directly here and if you go and if you try to refresh this one if i click on this one and if i come outside see you are able to see description is required for the whole this texture everything is coming from the typescript logic so we have written in we have we haven't written anything in the html part so we have written all the validation logic uh, in the ts logic so if you have more validators and you want to show each validation descriptively like that means then you need you can write the whole logic there and here if i write see description should be of minimum so I, if i write here it will be gone away and here also if i come outside it will show and we can write it here okay now when we click on so we have shown all the validation errors it's completed now let's go to the add post component so here in the on add post what i will try to do is so here i will try to check if this dot post form dot valid okay if it is valid only then we need to look right so here i can write if not of valid i can return it okay so if it is valid only then i will write so i will try to console dot log this dot post form dot value so these are all the values what we will try to send and here if i try to check this output sorry and if i try to click on the inspect element and also yeah so if i try to use this all the things okay if i try to use all the things and if i click here so if we are clicking nothing is happening so now if i click anything here and if i click an add post i am able to see the title and description so let's try to disable this button also when it is valid only we will enable this button so how we can enable this button we know all these concepts in the angular complete course we have already discussed these all things disable disable is equal to not of post form dot valid okay now it should be it should be disabled when it is not valid so here the for the button is valid now here if i try to write something and if i try to write some here this button is immediately valid see if i click here in the inspect element we will be able to see the console and if i click here console we are able to see the object and description and title i am able to see so now we need to take this description and title we need to submit we need to send it to the state management and we need to submit it to the post list array okay so let's try to do in this next video so we have successfully created the form using the reactors form module and also we have successfully applied the validations and we have written we have show we are showing the validation for each type of validation we are showing and also the data also we are capturing and we need to send the data to the state management so in the next video we will do the state uh, sending the data to the state management and saving the data in the post list we will try to do okay if you have any doubts or any sessions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you